Hello, this is Brenna from Morgan, and today I want to show you how you can check when your colleagues are available using Morgan Calendar. So there are two ways to do this in Morgan, and the option that is right for you will really come down to your team's calendars and your setup. So the first option is for teams who use Morgan together. As you can see, the team I work with, we use Morgan, and I've pinned those who I meet with most often over here on the left rail of my desktop app. That makes it really easy to see their schedules overlaid with mine. All I need to do is click on their avatars. Let's say I want to meet with Luke as well as Florian. I'm going to click on both of their pictures and what you can now see in those green and brown boxes are when they are busy. So I know very easily if I want to book a meeting with both of them, those times are simply not going to work. Now, there's another scenario. Your team might not be using Morgan with you. And in that case, so long as you use Google or Outlook together and have permissions to see one another's availability, you will now be able to see that same information in Morgan. Now, in order to do so, since your teammates aren't sitting over here on your sidebar, you start by creating an invite. So I'm going to do that and let's invite Luke and Florian once again to a meeting and I'm going to toggle on right here where it says check availability. Now, because our team uses Outlook and I have permission to see when they are available, their calendars are once again overlaid with mine. Now, because I have this event here, it can be a bit tricky to see what's going on underneath. So using Windows, if I want to make that just disappear for a moment so I can take a better look at their calendar, I'm going to use the Window Alt. If you are on Mac, you can use Command Option. And that removes it for a moment so I can get a better feel for when they're available. And then I unclick that so that the event comes back up. Now, looking at this, I can see right away the time that I picked is really bad for both my colleagues. For Luke, I've got this big angry red X. That means it's a no-go. He has a conflict at that time. For Florian, it's a bit different. I see an orange check mark. Now, the orange check mark is actually really helpful information. It means he can meet at this time. However, in doing so, I'm taking a big block of open availability for him um, that would not be ideal. I'm fragmenting work time. And so what I should do is try and find another time. So I'm just going to drag this until later in the day and let's see what we can get to here. Oh, perfect. So I've now got two green check marks and it means if I send an invite at this time, it's an ideal time for both of them and hopefully they'll be able to accept that invite and we're good to meet. Now, if you also want a better sense of how you can optimize your meeting times as a team and really respect not just when people are available and busy, but when are great times to not interrupt their work, you can also check out Morgan's team meeting optimizer. And what this lets you do is reschedule flexible team meetings to times that are better for everyone. Thanks so much and have a great day.